Hey, it's me, Mig, and I have a new game development for my slime game. So recently, I just changed a couple of things. For example, the radiation now comes out of a radiation tank, which made more sense. It was coming out of great, and I said, you know what? It would make sense if it came out of a radiation tank, some sort of source. Um, recently, I just also added a more animation and water type of look. Um, so right there on the pipes, water comes out and it has a really cool, nice waterfall animation. I also added a couple of decorative plants, which give it a nice look to the sewer level. Um, I added a couple of things, like for example, the UI now has uh, your HP. And then when you do get hit, you see the, how much damage you're taking. So I do plan on having maybe like a critical damage, sometimes maybe have a bigger damage from enemies and also you doing, you know, bigger damage or critical damages for certain weapons and certain random times that I have planned. I do have plans for upgrades. For example, that placeholder for that white box that I placed, that's going to be for a increase your up, you know, your max HP. So now you have 15 and then you can go up by, you know, Incremented by three or maybe by five depending on what upgrade you find also want to do rapid fire increase critical damage Different, you know type of weapon those type of upgrades that I have in mind uh, For the collectibles the silver coins um, I do plan on having like a shopkeeper. I Recently just started thinking oh, maybe I should do something like a like a resident evil shopkeeper or maybe I don't kind of want to do the whole link Shopkeeper, but we'll see what kind of ideas I can come up with. So the latest thing is coming up with a shopkeeper that I have in mind. We'll see what what I can do. Um, for right now, I have created this little mini boss right here. So this mini boss is you hit it. It's kind of like a type of like a Metroid type of boss that still does the same rapid fire. Uh, in this mini boss, I didn't want to have like a UI element telling you how much HP he has, but if you get to a certain point, if you end up hitting him enough times, he does turn like a bright red color or blinking color. And he does start shooting like a homie missile, which I like how they came out, by the way. Homie missiles came out really nice. And this one's something I did on my own. It's like, hey, it came out really good. Um, also, I might actually uh, lower his HP for the boss. Maybe I'll just use him as like a regular enemy that you have to fight along the way a couple times. Also want to do like a nice intro to the new enemy. Also, once you defeat this mini boss, you get a morphing ability. I don't have the animation yet, but you can kind of go from great to great to different positions. And I'm thinking maybe it'll be kind of like a, you know, like a puddle or pool of water that you turn in and then you can kind of animate to a different great. I did a little fun Easter egg too. So if you guys see, you know, Rick and Morty right there. Uh, you know, he'll give a nice reference to the, you know, fake bat of acid, that type of thing. I do plan on doing a little bit more puzzles right there in that area that I have in mind. And this is the shopkeeper I have in mind. Uh, shopkeeper, I kind of got the idea from Resident Evil 4. I don't know if you guys played it. Uh, Resident Evil 4 shopkeeper is this guy. He's in a trench coat. And randomly he'll tell you, hey, you know, you know, come here. I have new upgrades and supplies for you so that's kind of what i have in mind maybe you'll be kind of like a, a lonely shopkeeper that's selling you upgrades uh he'll come up with different items that you can buy if you trade enough silver coins he can maybe do special things like open drawbridges those type of things that i have in mind or i can do the traditional shopkeeper but i kind of like the resident evil you know idea of the shopkeeper we'll see what i come up with I have plans to create a checkpoint area. So if you get the radiation, you come up, kind of have a saving system where you're at. That's one thing I want to uh, complete. Another thing I want to do is once you're done with the sewer level, you, know, you can go up into the city. And then that could be a whole new area where you need to find and find you need more humans or heroes, I should say. Uh, from there, then you can go into, I'm thinking other areas. So I'm thinking maybe like a power plant type of thing where all the radiation's coming from. From there, you can also have like hidden areas maybe that I'm thinking maybe a secret laboratory. It's kind of a, an idea somebody, you know, gave me. So 
But that's pretty much what I have for now for my game. If you guys have any suggestions or if you like, you know, to give me any feedback, definitely do so in the comments. I do read them and I'm really open-minded to those kind of things. So if you guys come up with ideas, definitely let me know. Well, another thing I still need is music for my game. Uh, sounds I can do, that's fine. But, um, and, and a nice title. So I'm still coming up with a nice title. I have some ideas I'll throw it, that I've been throwing out there, but um, nothing definitive yet. So if you guys have any, again, any ideas for a title or for a game, let me know. Thanks, one. Uh, make sure to like, uh, subscribe to my channel if you find it interesting and if you want me to make more game development. Thanks for now.